comes to Instagram. Eh? Uh, okay. All right. Uh, did anyone wants to ask anything? Huh. Nobody talking. Eh? Uh, do we need to submit the link in URL by email? Uh, no need actually because I will search you inside my LinkedIn. Uh, you just basically need to, uh, what you call it, to set your LinkedIn, uh, what you call, in a full name. Eh? Make sure you, uh, the, the, the full name actually on the attendance. So I will search for you inside my LinkedIn. That's actually much faster lah compared to me open the email eh. If let's say I didn't, I didn't, uh, I cannot find your LinkedIn, I will uh, ask you in the WhatsApp group. Uh, okay. All right. How, how are you, uh, Guo? You are in China, right? You want to come to Malaysia? Uh, no, madam. I'm in Malaysia. Oh, you are in Malaysia. Okay, good. Uh, uh, yeah, I didn't uh, go back. So you already in Mahala or you are outside? Uh, no, outside. I, oh, I just outside. submit the form to okay. go back. So, okay, so you are in Malaysia. Okay, good. Okay, thank you, madam. All right. So anything else? I think the blog, okay, uh... The blog, I already post a video on blogging, okay? Uh, you can use Blogger if you want. I'm going to do another video for, uh, what you call it, WordPress. Okay, Nur Aisha, madam, for the new assessment of doing BMC, do we need to do the BMC in colorful or just plain? <laughs> okay, uh, the colorful one is actually Dr. Rosaline's uh, preference. Uh, I don't really care about the colorful things. For me, the contents. Uh, I, I will do a rubric for contents only. Uh, basically, BMC, we have 10, right? Uh, so 9% uh, is based on 1%, 1%, 1% is based on the, uh, the contents of each of each boxes. And the other one percent is format. Format is not uh, design uh, or colorful things. One percent is actually for format. For example, you put relationship, customer relationship uh, at the what we call at the wrong wrong boxes. Uh, so you don't get that format uh, marks lah. Uh, make sure that the, the boxes is is uh, is there, All right? Uh, okay. Any other question? Actually, I want to go for blog. Eh? I think uh, you guys might not have a clue how how to blog, blog, how to do business planning blog, and uh, there are so many. Eh? If let's say I've been kicked out by this uh, from Jimmy, Jimmy, eh? you need to notify me in in uh, WhatsApp group. Eh? Can international student enter Malaysia? Uh, can international? Uh, uh, I think some of my international students also ask the same thing. Uh, I do not know now, but uh, if let's say uh, the decision from the government say that uh, this international student can come in, so okay lah kan? Because uh, I think the decision nowadays is very, uh, what you call it, uh, very fast changing. You know, uh, suddenly. Tomorrow saying like this, tomorrow saying like that, kan? Uh, so, hopefully the international student can come in for the sake of studying lah. Uh, so that you will, you can see me sometimes, eh? Uh, okay. Any other, before I, I go to blogging? Uh, there are many, eh? If you want to uh, ask questions, you can ask in chat. If you want to, um, if you want to speak as well, can, can. Um, because I'm I'm actually doing like like a live eh? Facebook live eh? <laughs> instead of uh, doing a Jimmy. Okay. Okay. Uh, blogging. Eh, blogging. 
So I already put uh, a video on uh, what we call it on Blogger. Eh? How to set up, how to set up your blog. What is actually important inside the blog? And I think some of you do it in WordPress. So I'm going to do a video for for WordPress as well. What is the minimum requirement that I feel you should put inside blog? Okay, uh, so uh, I know that you you are doing your business plan. It's quite like dry academic, academic uh, what we call it, uh, phrases or paragraph, eh? wording academically. Like for example, uh, uh, the group, <laughs> something like that. But when it comes to uh, your business plan, you should. Make a storytelling. For me, it's okay, lah. Uh, and I, I'm actually uh, asking industry people as well. They they okay with storytelling, kind of uh, business plan. Okay. Uh, even you can actually apply it uh, to the outside, eh? outside world if you want to do a, a business, kan? Uh, so for your blog, uh, it's actually you are doing a business plan. You do a business plan. For example, you want to target a certain uh, item inside the business plan. Uh, for example, Instagram inside. You want to share with the world your Instagram inside. Eh? Let's say that your Instagram inside is very excellent. Eh? And, uh, okay, uh, you want to share the world. Okay, so uh, your content uh, for that business plan. If let's say your business plan uh, is like a storytelling kind of business plan, then you can just copy paste, put it inside the uh, inside the blog post. If let's say your your business plan is very academic, written phrases, then you need to change a bit because when you are doing blog, eh, you are doing like the LinkedIn uh, assignment. Eh? Uh, doing LinkedIn assignment also need to be uh, the content should be very easy to read. Uh, have like a personality wise, uh, you need to show your personality inside your writing. Yeah, uh, that's how content content creator did uh, when it comes to uh, yeah, blog because uh, the video that I put the blog setup and eh, blogger setup doesn't uh, show anything about how to write how to write a blog post eh? so your blog post should be happy lah should be very uh, like a storytelling kind of uh, what you call it um, kind of uh, post okay uh, so put a lot of uh, put a lot of pictures as well eh? uh, okay any any other question uh, I'm, I'm actually waiting for question okay I think the blog is done uh just i'm going to do a video on wordpress okay uh, i think i need to do a lot of other video as well uh after this i'm going to do business plan as well uh, business plan video as well okay uh i think some of you kind of like lost when it comes to business plan yeah? uh, especially on the scheduling there is also one student asking me how to do the scheduling because you go and see the business plan sample coming from your previous uh we call it seniors again uh, <clears throat> okay scheduling uh if let's say you go and see your business uh, your previous seniors business plan because they have entrepreneurship week so they do it like day by day but when it comes to you for your business plan you can do scheduling month by month okay month by month uh you can put uh, a table uh that 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 one format is up to you uh, if you want to do a, a table format i'm okay if you want to do a timeline format it's okay but the explanation of uh, every member activity should be there so so that when you claim when you do your uh, your peer peer evaluation when you claim that one one of your group member doesn't do much so we can actually i can actually see back at your activity eh? scheduling the scheduling is very important uh, so i will i will go and see your business plan as well okay uh, see on the scheduling part if let's say you you uh you actually uh mark your peer very low uh, okay so any any other thing uh, I'm just talking for seven minutes only. 
Linkin okay ya? Everything okay with Linkin? I do take attendance actually, but it's only for my reference. Eh? Uh, it's only for my reference. All right. Okay, for LinkedIn, I uh, I would suggest that you put as a working experience. Eh? Working experience. Uh, when you are doing this assignment, put it as a working experience uh, at the booking experience part on the LinkedIn again. Uh, and that one is actually very, very important for your experience as well. Okay. Uh, so I think uh, some of my previous students as well, when they do resume, they put working experience doing this project uh, because you already have a company, yeah? then you can put it as a working experience. All right. Anything else? Takkan nak habis kat sini je, kan? Okay, uh, because nobody asking, eh? I I will I will share something lah. Uh, when it comes to for blogging, is the content should be the same as the business report. Okay, uh, the content can be can be the same, can be the same if let's say your business plan is storytelling wise. Uh, easy to read, uh, very friendly storytelling wise. You can just copy paste. But there are some things when it comes to f the format. Okay, I'm going to share with you. Eh? I'm going to present you something. I'm going to present you lah how to do it. Eh? Okay. You can see eh? my my. My what you call my desktop. You can see, yeah. Okay, okay. I open my blog. Hopefully, can open lah. Okay. Eh, uh, this is not my. I have so many what you call Gmail. Uh, my my Google Chrome starting to get confused. Okay, this one is Blogger. This is one. Uh, this one is. Uh, if you don't know my website, uh, my blog is actually fatusna.com. Eh? Uh, this is uh, the way. If you if you look at my blog, how to actually uh, write. Uh, that's that's what something that I want lah. Eh? But I already did. So you just try to follow. Okay. Um, for example, I, I mean this one is a blog post about personal finance management uh, through Excel. Eh? Okay, the title should be very appealing. Should be very appealing. For example, uh, okay, uh, you must be very direct. You don't you don't put like uh, business plan, business plan dot dot, uh, Instagram inside. You just put lah, uh, how to increase your followers through Instagram. Ah, uh, uh, that kind of like catchy, catchy title. Uh, I want to see, even though that you're not really put like business planned, but I know where 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 that thing come out, uh, come in, uh, come in actually again. So, uh, try to tackle a bit, uh, the way you put your your title. Uh, this is how how writing comes in, eh? writing skills comes in. And I, I'm actually training you to become a content creator as well. Okay. Uh, okay, so so basically uh personal finance management uh through Excel. Okay. Uh, this is uh something that people can get from my from my blog post lah. So you you try to do something like uh, beneficial to the readers. Uh, this is what I say as a skill of writing. Eh? Instead of you putting everything, your experience doing the business plan, you can also share something beneficial to to those who wants to do uh, to become an entrepreneur, or maybe you can actually give some sort of insight 
the review uh, of handling Instagram. For example, I found Instagram uh, not really easy. Some tips. Uh, so you can actually put some tips inside inside your blog post. Eh? Uh, and then, uh, for example, uh, there is introduction. Evening peeps uh, actually open up uh, warm eh? warmness for your blog post. Okay, and then uh, you can use I, eh? the word I, we, use a lot of we, uh, our, eh? so that people will feel very close to you when they, when they actually uh, read your blog posts. Okay, uh, so you can use uh, quotes uh, here eh? inside the video blogger I actually teach you how to use all uh, the quotes and eh, the quotation like this okay and then I put a lot of uh, a lot of pictures uh, and then make sure that your your I call it uh, your hashtag is also very very good okay your hashtag should be a lot lah. I, I would suggest that you put a lot of hashtag for example, you put yourself at the at the side of readers. Okay, uh, if I wants to find a cash flow uh, in Excel for my personal finance, what kind of keyword I would use in Google to find it? I will, of course, I will put. I go to Google and I will search for cash flow. Uh, so this is the hashtag that you can use inside your blog. So when it comes to writing in blog, you must put yourself on reader, reader, reader perspective. The same thing happened in Instagram, uh, okay? But readers nowadays, when they want to actually uh, go to a blog post or Instagram post, they want to actually find something, okay? It's either uh funny things or maybe inspirational or maybe tips ways you can use this kind of what we call it uh words when it comes to uh do your writing can okay? uh okay for example you can you can also put something that uh, connected to google trending if let's say your 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 business plan can actually uh connected to google trending you go to Google trending, eh? Try, uh, to help you. Sorry, uh, to help you find idea on how to write the the blog, eh? Uh, for example, uh, no, this this is not. Okay, I go to Google Trends. Go to Google Trends. Ah, uh, yeah. This one is Taylor Swift and Kim Kardashian. There's no connection at all, okay? So we go to, basically I will go to, uh, not United States lah, uh, Malaysia. Eh? Malaysia, because you are doing business plan in Malaysia. So we're talking about coronavirus, okay? Maybe your post can actually connect it to coronavirus. COVID-19, instead of you just talking about Instagram inside uh, business plan uh, in your title, again. Okay? Or you just can say that uh, challenges, our challenge on business to increase, uh, we call sales during coronavirus, uh, that kind of thing. So it's actually based on Google Trending as well. Google Trending is very, very important uh, when it comes to uh, what we call attracting people to come in. Eh? Uh, this one, Google Meet. Uh, okay, Google Meet. This what it QS World Uni. Uh, why why? Uh, okay, we have uh, World Ranking Rohingya uh, New Zealand. Try to find a trending that connected to your what you call it uh, business plan lah. Uh, okay, Musaman ah Musaman. Yeah Musaman. <laughs> Okay. Uh, any other any other question? Uh, <laughs> Madam, for financial part, how to make it it in interesting in blog? Okay. Um, 
the financial part actually i'm going to do a video out of it okay uh, I, i just go to a workshop from industry and they teach me how to do a uh, uh, financial cash flow thingy a simpler way that can be used industrial and also academically uh, because um, i think when i go to that uh, industrial entrepreneurship workshop i feel like our academic syllabus is uh, too heavy uh, because you are just starting to do a business kan so should be very uh, simple lah okay so financial part how to make it interesting in blog okay um you can do like like mine as well like this eh uh, okay I'm not. I'm not really. I'm not really sure if, let's say, uh, you um, you are doing it. You are doing your financial part in uh in Excel. I'm not. I'm not really sure. Okay, you as a as a business people should be doing it in fi- uh, in Excel because yeah, that one is very systematic lah. Uh, you cannot do it in Microsoft Word. Eh? Uh, because uh, the the Excel function. Uh, when it comes to plus okay so you can actually uh what we call um share in the blog the screenshot of your excel if you are okay with it lah to screenshot or maybe you just share the template that you find beneficial for people uh who wants to start using uh start doing a business okay a template just a template meaning that there is no figure at all inside the template and then you put it in your blog uh, you, you you say that our uh, financial uh, something like that and then it's actually better if you want to share with others kan the reality of doing business the the reality of doing business during coronavirus <laughs> from financial perspective kan uh, so you can actually share your excel as well uh, inside the uh, inside the inside the blog hashtag #finance you know when I, when i do a blog post on financial eh, there are so many people comes in eh, because financial is very important nowadays i don't know why but i feel like posting about financial is very very attractive especially if i do a personal financial management because we are we are now in the uh we call it uh, economy recession economy economy recession world economy recession so everyone wants to know how to save money how to manage their money and whatsoever so if you can and also um what we call it doing a business nowadays also become a trending because uh people cannot find a job okay and uh open a business is a is a good option as well okay uh, open a business is a good option for life sustaining uh, okay so you can actually uh put a post a small post about how how you how you survive in the challenge how you survive in marketing so the way you 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 put it in the title it should be should be quite different lah uh, okay so that people will come and see what you are uh, what you what you can actually give to the readers uh, so there is a instead of uh, you just do a business plan uh, just copy paste for your business plan uh, i think it's 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 good to to write like you are talking to your readers as well and then make a bit of review uh some review about uh for example your financial what is the experience struggling with the financial uh what is the experience struggling with uh instagram marketing and uh, it's not it's not easy i know uh, that's why i think i change a lot of things eh? i change a lot of things uh, for example like uh, before this i it's a compulsory for you to sell something now it's not compulsory anymore so uh, all that thing also i i noticed lah because covid-19 is not it, it's not easy to go through eh? but i feel like 
uh, this assignment is important as well even though you do you do not do any selling at all but uh you learn something from it lah at, at least you you have an option uh not just if if you do not know how to find a job for example how how to get a job in this uh, covid-19 <laughs> pandemic and at least you can actually do a business lah uh, okay and then uh, i also teach you how to do writing content creator as well because uh, not everybody wants to sell product eh? uh, like me i don't like to selling product or service uh, i love i don't know uh, my passion is actually doing contents writing uh, so you can also go into that into that uh, what you call it pass as well lah, to to gain money to get money somewhere but then i want to ask how do we project our financial projection in our business plan if we don't have any sales okay uh, so for that uh, i think when it comes to business uh, financial projection eh, you can actually put your costs costings costing of course you have right uh, costing eh? for example like utilities eh? utilities uh, like uh, uh, call internet eh? internet that you pay that one is also cost even though that maybe you do not do not do anything yeah, when it comes to sales you should put something lah uh, that's the basic cost of everything uh, internet <laughs> yeah. but uh, i think all of you have cost right and some sometimes i think uh, not sometimes eh, some 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 groups already lost a lot because uh, you need to pay for the injection eh? uh, so that one I, 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 I i'm so sorry lah i cannot uh, help you a lot when it comes to sales i myself feel very uh we call it uh, uh feel very sad lah because entrepreneurship week cannot go on because my my students already done with the preparation is the block optional no it's not optional it's it's a must <laughs> it's a it's a part of the of your assignment uh, it's a must okay so whether you want to use blogger or wordpress i, I just do a blogger video i'm going to do another one video for wordpress okay uh, some 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 student asked me what is the difference between blogger and also wordpress which one is better again uh, for me uh, blogger is actually good uh, if you know how to code html coding if you know how to coding because it, it have much more freedom uh, to design by your own uh, for me lah okay but wordpress uh, the template is good uh, it's easy to use the the functions inside the wordpress if you don't want to go more uh, for html coding or whatsoever you can use wordpress for me blogger is much more basic lah compared to uh, wordpress it's much more manual if you want to have uh, a platform that actually much more innovative uh, you use lah uh, wordpress uh, for me wordpress is much uh, more complete complete when it comes to functions but uh, wordpress is actually much complicated for me lah i, I love basic platform like blogger easy uh, simple okay okay anything else you want to ask me uh, if let's say you are okay you can if you want to leave you leave line uh, the attendance uh, there are so many people coming today okay good i will put this uh what we call it uh this video inside the youtube eh? madam what about the title headings of our blog madam should it be the title of our business okay like i said before uh uh this is require require you to do a kind of like a creative writing skill as well okay you can just put business plan dot dot uh what we call financial statement but as a reader you you from you come from somewhere and then you see a blog like this of course you don't want to you don't want to read kan uh, this is just maybe they say that it's just a uh, call assignment wise but if you can actually try to twist a bit lah for example how to how to raise sales 
how to raise sales uh, during COVID-19 for new business. Uh, and then you talk about your, uh, you just copy paste your whatever inside the business plan, okay, from financial part, and then you give tips. Give tips. At the end of the blog post, you give tips. Uh, first, firstly, you, you're talking about your experience in financial financial management, yeah? and then you give tips at the bottom of the blog post, and yeah? you say that how to increase and what's going on. Okay, uh, so because uh, what I can say is that when you are writing something, uh, especially when it comes to a blog or Instagram, readers wants to know what can they, what can what uh, what what benefits they can get from reading an article you also like that as a reader right so uh you 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 go to for example business insider website and you want to know something about for example how to increase my uh, our business sales uh, all that kind of stuff lah. you can actually put inside uh the experience as well so matter if we suffer loss then we should we put on the report or not yes you should uh you should as well okay it, it's not like I'm going to, what we call it, give back the loss. No, I mean like, <laughs> I'm not going to, to lah again. Uh, but you should put lah. At least, um, at least I can be a bit considerate in your marks lah. I feel like, oh, this, this group is suffering so much loss lah. I give more marks lah. <laughs> that's the only, I think that's the only thing I can help with again. Uh, okay. You should, uh, you should, I think uh, sometimes costing is very important when it comes to COVID uh, because uh, the reason why I ask you to do only two business transactions uh, only because uh, it's not easy to to get sales during COVID. Eh? Uh, so uh, the, the costing should be very low, lah, meaning that you should buy only like 10, 10 products and then selling 10 products, that's it. Uh, okay. uh, but if you are very uh, serious about doing business during COVID-19, I, I would, I, I, I'm not going to surprise because some, some of my students are doing good. Okay. And they don't, they're not even selling, uh, what you call it, selling food. They're selling accessories sometimes. Uh, so this is uh, what you call it going to reflect lah how how far you can how far you can go how far you put the effort and also how far you think outside the box. Okay. Uh, so I know that it's not easy to do business nowadays, and I'm not really that uh, restricting. Like I say, extra two marks been given for those who are actually doing some sales. Okay. Uh, Two sales, eh? uh, even one sale also get marks, okay? Because uh, I know it's not really easy, lah. Okay. Okay. Any any other question? Uh, half an hour already. Nobody wants to talk, eh? Okay. What's more, uh, Instagram, uh, Instagram. Once you're done with your Instagram on 15 June, eh? Uh, so I advise you just stop everything, lah. Just stop doing everything unless if you really want to use that platform for business, real but real business lah. Uh, but if you are doing for the sake of assignment, you can just stop. No need to. No need to focus on that uh, Instagram anymore. Just focus on your business plan and also blog. Okay. Uh, so because uh, I'm only going to look at the post up to 15 June only. Okay. After that, I'm not going to looking at at all. Uh, that's why I post. That's why I ask you to post, not doing story so much. Eh? Uh, story can you can do story in your Instagram, but uh, it will disappear after one one day, twenty four hours. Okay. Uh, so Instagram done. Uh, fifteen June. You to be safe. To be safe, uh, ask your group leader to send your email, uh, Instagram link to me eh, through email. Uh, to be safe, if let's say uh, you, if you just want to follow me on Instagram and then that's it, I will find your Instagram lah. 
But if let's say I couldn't find your Instagram, I will ask you in the WhatsApp lah. Eh? Okay. Uh, LinkedIn also, 15 June. Okay. Uh, no need to send me any email. Uh, just connect with me in the LinkedIn. Okay. Uh. All right. Uh, what's more? What's more in the... Let me see. Eh. Uh, okay, for your substitute, eh, uh, final exam substitute, uh, let me explain a bit about it. I didn't actually do any kind of detailed instruction for that yet, but I'm going to uh, just explain about it. Okay, uh, for final exam substitute, eh, uh, I call it as an individual case individual case study so i will uh, i want uh, i will ask you to do a business uh, not real business it's just idea of a business okay uh, on severe industry impacted by covid-19 which is airline there is another one i couldn't find oil and gas uh, what's more i could remember uh, Tourism, I think. Okay. Uh, tourism. Eh? Uh, tourism. Uh, tourism. So you can you can choose any industry you want to go. These three industries. Uh, okay. You can choose any any one and just choose one lah. Okay. And do a business by building a BMC. And also, I'm going to give you a business plan template. Uh, so uh, that business plan. That business plan template is actually a simpler version of a, of a business plan which has been used in the industry level. Uh, industry level. Uh, I think let me let me show you uh, call it uh, the example of it. Okay. So point. Uh, it should be in here. Where is it? This one I'm going to uh, give you in Excel uh, for in this, uh, individual case study, you will do it in Excel, <laughs> which is weird, but uh, it's easy, I think. Uh, okay, workshops, I uh, couldn't find that book. Okay. Okay. Later, lah, I'm going to give you a uh, one month before your deadline. Eh? Uh, that one is thirty percent. Eh? Your online quiz uh, on first July. Okay. Business plan, business plan, blog, uh, business MVMC, and then that's it. Okay. Any other any other question? If let's say we don't have any question, you can you can we can actually uh. Exit early, lah, kan? Hmm. Is there any other question? Actually, I want to talk uh, just uh, sembang sembang uh, talking about your resume. Are you okay talking about resume? If let's say, I think. Ah, uh, uh, okay, Amira, okay. Very nice, man. Ah, can, 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 can. Because I think. <laughs> I think this is not face to face, or so it's not really, it's not really uh, easy. Like I'm talking about resume, but it's okay, lah. Uh, okay, because um, I'm doing entrepreneurship class actually to prepare you for your future. Eh? That's my very big vision, eh? vision and mission. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> uh, usually I will I will teach you how to do a resume. Uh, okay, and how mm. to teach you how to do a resume. So usually, uh, what kind of uh, yeah, resume? Let me resume uh, template. Okay. Okay. There are so many resume software, but uh, the one that I always use is Novo Resume. Okay, Novo Resume. Uh, this one is a website, eh? So there are many other chat, but I couldn't, I didn't see. Madam, our Malaysian friends have been able to register companies under under SSM. 
what if we want to do it also internationally? So is it possible? How can we do so? Uh, you can, but uh, there is fees. And the fees is quite high. But if you really, really want to uh, call very serious, you can. Uh, if you are serious lah. But for me, I would suggest that try to get to get as many as uh, as much as possible profit to actually register your company legally. Uh, okay, before you do that lah. For individual LinkedIn assignment, should should it be related to the business that we are doing as a group, or can I write an article of my own startup? Okay, it should be related to the business that you are doing as a group. Ah, uh, okay, as a group. Okay, uh, but it's based on your own perspective. For example, lah, you you feel like your team member not doing it. Eh? Not doing job and eh? how to how to I call how to work with free rider. The the title heading is very good, you know. Everyone want to see and read. <laughs> Maybe you just okay, all right, okay, okay. So okay, when it comes to resume, eh? is there any other question? We go, we go before we go to resume. I, I didn't see your chat actually. I need to scroll down and. Okay, uh, resume. Uh, let's see what what can you do with resume. That's why I say the, this uh, online class is not just come in and then you get tips, eh? uh, life tips as well. Okay. Okay, let's go and see resume. Let me let me open my resume eh, first. Eh? Okay, resume. Uh, since my since my days before. It's been changing. Eh? Uh, people nowadays are using uh, infographic resume, but I think there is another trend. People call it as a QR code resume. Uh, that's why I actually um, what we call it. Um, let me let me open. Let me try to open uh, this one. <coughs> Okay, let me share with you. Present. Okay. All right. Uh, you can see my 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 screen, eh? Okay. All right. So this is a resume. Uh, your former, your your previous student. Eh, your previous student. Your previous senior. Okay. Uh, so uh, I just want to share with you lah the resume thing. Okay. Uh, this is. Uh, she actually asked me for uh, for a help. Eh? to do her resume, and after I help her resume, Alhamdulillah. Uh, she got, uh, I think, for about like ten interviews, and now she's working under GSC, uh, Golden Screen Cinema, as an assistant manager. Uh, very, very good. Eh? Uh, okay, so, huh? Okay, everything. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm trying to like uh, blabber or whatever, eh? but. Uh, Resume is very important. It's like an IC for you lah to to uh, to go into a, a job, man. Okay. So basically, for for first uh for for fresh graduate, eh, uh, resume employer will only usually will tolerate only one page, one page only. So because they have so many resumes to actually read on. So they actually tolerate, basically will tolerate only one page, unless unless if you have more than five years of working experience, then you can actually upgrade your resume up to two to, to three page. Okay. Uh, mm. uh, okay. So the first thing first, I am going to talk about uh, what we call it um, your your picture, eh? your picture. The picture should be uh, the background picture should should be white, and some some people use use blue. Eh? Uh, 
but now uh, I can I can say that the employer now prefer white. And then try to use earth tone to make it more professional wear a blazer. Okay, uh, no need to go to the, what we call it, uh, to the shop. To the shop, eh, to Photoshop, uh, to something like that again. No need to go and pay the shop for taking your picture. You can actually uh, try to find a place that have a uh, white background, white wall. Then you're done. Huh? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so Nuro, uh, this one, uh, her name is Nuro Balkish. Bachelor in Business Administration, General Management. Okay, uh, you put like, your bachelor there. It's easy for the employer to see and uh, for them to put you at uh, what job they feel okay. Okay, your email. Your e email is actually a very big issue because people nowadays, they put, for example, kikilala at gmail.com. Uh, that's a no-no. Um, it might find... You might find it funny, but there are people who actually like that. And, uh, or superhero or marvel at gmail.com. Eh? Uh, and then uh, that is actually the number one flaw that employee will see when you are applying for your job. They will actually looking at your email. Okay. Why do they care about the email? Because they want if they want to send back your, for example, a result or interview request, they need to enter your email. If they feel very annoyed, then they will not uh, call you. Lah, eh? Okay, your phone. You can put your phone address. Don't put full address. Okay. Just put where you want to... Uh, just put where do you want to work? For example, your hometown at Kelantan, okay? At your hometown at Sabah, but you want to work at Kuala Lumpur. Put your address at Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Uh, if you put your hometown at Sabah, most probably they they, they don't they don't call you. Uh, if you are actually applying at Kuala Lumpur, okay? Uh, so LinkedIn, uh, LinkedIn also very important, and some companies actually do. Uh, they have LinkedIn uh, page by themselves, eh? And then uh, if let's say you can actually edit your LinkedIn uh, link eh, in the setting, I think. If let's say your LinkedIn link come up with the uh, what what you call a random numbers eh, at the end of your 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 name, you can actually edit it. Eh, make sure it's actually very nice like this lah. Okay. About me, this one is actually very, uh, very famous, uh, famous question. What should I put inside about me? The first thing first, do not copy paste. <laughs> you go and see there's so many about me inside the website. Eh? Do not copy paste your about me. You should be able to do it by your own with... Uh, by inserting what kind of passion you have, what kind of passion that you you want when it comes to your uh, future job. For example, you love doing sales. You put there. Uh, you love doing online marketing. You put there. Okay? Because when they see your passion or hobbies, they will put you at a suitable job. And for me, uh, having a job is uh, actually crucially you love that job uh, to sustain in that job and uh, and then motivated and hardworking individuals are uh, this one you can uh, you can actually better yourself like, a bit like, yeah? in planning coordinating various management tasks passionate towards problem solving and work well with others whatever you put in your about me actually you need to ask yourself do I have this? Do I feel motivated? Am I hardworking? Can I can I uh, work with various management tasks? Uh, if let's say you cannot, don't put there. <laughs> if let's say you put there, uh, the employee will put you at the at the job uh, at the placement uh, job uh, job placement. That is, that is going to be very rough, lah, very tough for you, okay? All right. 
education, International Islamic University Malaysia, of course. And then you do do I need to put my CGPA? Uh, this one is also a famous famous question. Again, people ask people ask me, do I need to put a CGPA? Uh, yes and no. Okay. Uh, the first thing first, I can say the employer doesn't have a minimum requirement when it comes to CGPA, but as my uh, from my observation, from my experience after going thirty eh, thirty interviews, the minimal, the minimal requirement, minimum requirement for for uh, at, at least a big company lah, big company is three three point zero zero, okay. And I would advise you if let's say your CGPA is three point zero zero and above, you can put your CGPA. If let's say it's actually below than that, you you can do uh, you can actually not put any CGPA. I think that's okay lah. Uh, but you need to back up with your your skills. Okay. And then uh, this one is STPM and SPM. Uh, I would prefer uh, under education only three because if let's say you put more, it will actually mark. Uh, actually take so much space eh? so, so that the other things you cannot put inside the here but education for example uh, three the latest three lah. Uh, for example you have degree here and then maybe before this you have foundation or maybe a level uh, okay and then uh, only three the latest three okay all right working experience uh, you already have a, what we call have a company it's considered as working experience, you can actually put there. And then uh, position, you put your position, what position you are inside the uh, the company. And then uh, you must actually tell the company what you actually do, a uh, very detailed, for example, eh, uh, increasing sales. That is not detail. Improving sales through Instagram analytics improving sales through instagram marketing uh, that is very detailed so that's how detailed it is you need to go for your resume so it's very detailed until people know what you can do uh, for example this one uh, this this uh, this girl actually doing uh, the attendance record payroll commission for example in your company you are doing financial statement you are doing uh, what you call it uh, calculating sales uh, manage costing uh, so we put in there okay and then uh, if you have part time you can also put under work work experience okay skills uh, what should you put inside the skills there are two skills that employer always want to see one is soft skills okay one is soft skills another one is computing skills or technical skills and uh, i think there is one of my uh, my students actually asking me about uh the, she doesn't have any computing skills only microsoft office okay microsoft office actually is not uh it's not really something that the employer wants to see right now lah because uh, i think most of people know know microsoft office eh? powerpoint office eh? uh word and but if you can actually have more for example like from this assignment you actually uh have uh, analytics okay uh, instagram data analytics you can put there okay uh, this one is computing uh implement social media campaign uh, uh, implement uh, social media advertisement uh, content content writer for instagram marketing uh, so all this actually you can put under the skills eh? uh, so for example, you go for the curriculum, eh? curriculum class. Uh, this one, this girl actually go for curriculum class for information literacy, uh, research-based skills. You can put that as well. Okay. If you know how to do APA citation, put that. If you know how to do Adobe Illustrator, uh, just um, if you, if let's say you're not really confident about put uh, putting the skills, maybe you know a little bit only, you can actually put Adobe Illustrator uh beginner like this okay uh, and then uh language actually is another thing but you can put lah under skills to save some space okay uh, all right 
Ha, I want to see. Madam, can this resume on Aitaklim for our ha, for our references untuk mablak boleh hitamkan detail tersebut? Uh, resume. I couldn't I couldn't understand why uh, why why what, is, what question is this? Okay. Uh, Madam, since Linky reflects a lot about our your background, can I write an article about the individual startup as I believe it add more value but I'm still working on the other startup with my teammates worst case can someone do the whole group project alone or do two projects how many projects actually you are doing <laughs> I only ask you to do one one project only <laughs> okay ah uh, well, how many projects are you doing right now oh my god <laughs> I think one business also very, very, very busy already. <laughs> okay. Um. So make sure that you are working as a team, lah. Uh, don't don't work don't work alone, lah. Business, even though in a real life, for me, at the end of the day, you need workers, employees, and partnerships, eh? Because business is not easy. Okay. Uh. Can I write article about individual startup? Okay. Uh, you can write lah, but uh, for me, for the assignment, for the assignment, I would, uh, I would like you to actually uh share your experience in the business. But if you want to actually put something, for example, you get inspired by, what is it, Nyalofa, for example lah, you get inspired by Nyalofa. And then that's why you do the, this business. Uh, so you can put that lah. Why why Nyolofa is very inspiring. Uh, yeah, okay. But whatever it is, it must uh, try to connect with the with the business, with your business. Okay. Uh, Madam, what if the followers of Instagram doesn't reach 100 followers? Should be okay or not? Uh, actually, uh, it, it's not. <laughs> Okay, but uh, because when you go to your business plan under Instagram Insight, uh, you cannot actually open the audience part unless you have 100 followers. Uh, that's why I asked you to do 100 followers. It's not just like, okay, do 100 followers, yeah, no. It's because of the Instagram Insight. If you go to, if you click on the Instagram inside inside your Instagram, and you, you cannot open the, uh, the the audience part will not uh will not uh, what do you call uh there is no data for that, so you cannot do your business plan now. So your business plan is like there is a hole, and uh, it's not uh completed. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. Can this resume on Aitaklim for our references? I, I will record this and put in the uh, in the YouTube. Eh? Uh, I already recording it. Okay, uh, let's go to the resume. Uh, if I say you have other question, you can actually put in the chat. Okay. All right. Um. Okay, we're done with skills. University and uh, university, but university participation. Do not put organization here. Eh? Uh, university participation. Okay, and then uh, you can actually put training management project. Okay, uh, what kind of uh, things that you actually go through BBA entrepreneurship week. Uh, this one, uh, you can actually also share your Instagram that you are doing right now. Okay, if you want to put here. Okay, but if let's say you want to put your company under work experience, do not put under university participation. If let's say you put both, so the, the employer quite confused. Eh? Uh, apply research project, for example, like this. Uh, but for me, um, you can actually just focus on three three main events that you join from the university. Okay, and then you just uh, the the the. What you call it the the event that you really uh, have a good position in it. For example, secretary. Okay. For example, like uh, manager of the event. So you can actually just focus on three, and then you can just uh, focus on explaining what you are doing, just like you are doing for your 
work experience. So this is how it is, okay? But if you do not have so much uh, strong position in any events, you can actually put a lot of university participation like this because uh, you, this senior actually doesn't have so much uh, position, eh? strong position in any any event. So she just joined any event because I know that uh, uh, IUM students join so many events. Okay, it's either you are part of the, uh, what you call it, uh, part of the committee or not. Huh? Okay. References, you need to have two. That's the, uh, what we call it, uh, the, the optimum, the optimum number. You must have two. The references can come from your lecturers, from your previous, uh, what we call it, uh, previous managers when you are working, from your partners, uh, business partners, okay, your group members, uh, your group members. That's why I'm saying uh, this this assignment is very very important. Eh? Uh, it can actually reflect on your life skills as well, life resume. Eh? Uh, okay, you put the uh, the referee name. Okay, the relationship with your referee, which is as the professor lecturer. Okay, uh, where she come from. Okay, uh, her phone number and also uh, email. Okay, uh, and all that. Okay, so we have uh, this one. They have two, uh, two reference. So I think uh, so. Basically, this is what the resume is lah. Uh, any any other question? Can we have three referees? Uh, you can, but if let's say you are doing only one page resume and then the space is very tight, eh? very, very uh, limited, you must actually go to uh, only maximum two, two referees. Lah. Uh, but when it comes to novel resume, uh, the, the template is different. Yeah? The template is different. Uh, we ha you can have up to three referees. Uh, it depends on the template. Uh, okay, this template is not made by is not made by Novo Resume. This template is made by Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so uh, you but you can actually use Novo Resume as well. Okay. Uh, any other question? Uh, so that's the sharing of resume inshallah next uh, next two weeks i'm going to share about how to plan your five years career okay not everyone wants to do business man. everyone wants to i think most of the student wants to focus on how to target a good salary a good salary within five years you don't want to work with uh in 10 years with two thousand ringgit salary only at least you need to target in 10 years your your what you call it your salary also at least 8000 to 10000 uh, so this is from my own experience how i actually plan my career path uh, you must actually think from now on uh, and even though that now nowadays uh, the, the the job is not really much but you can plan lah uh, better planning give better better result i think lah for me okay so i think now is already 6 p.m any other question if you do not have any question i think you can you can actually leave all right any other question ah yes you can talk you know you can talk no need to chat if you want to. Oh, yeah. ah, okay, Lujain. Okay, my question is, um, you said that we're not allowed to use, I mean, the stories because it just disappears after one day. Mm -hmm. But um, for us, we put like highlights and we arranged it like based on what the highlight is about on group. Oh, so right. is, is that acceptable? Yes, you can use story uh, for the sake of business, you can. But one thing, uh, when it comes to your Instagram insight, uh, it will appear. For example, eh, your Instagram insight only capture one week insight only. If you don't know, lah. it's only capture one week. 
And so, uh, it's actually only capture one week. One week latest only. It oh, will not capture for the whole Instagram session. No, session. no uh, I, mean, I mean the highlights. You know how like Instagram... Can I, can I show you on my, for my PC? Ah, uh, you can. I, I cannot I use my uh, Nurun. I cannot use my laptop. My don't know why. It's okay lah, Nurun. Huh? You can actually chat here. I can yeah. see. All right. I don't know how to move the camera. Wait. Huh. Um, I really don't know how to move the camera, but it's I. Like, oh yeah, there we go. Can you see? Oh yeah. Okay. Uh. So this is like my Instagram. That our Instagram. Okay. So All right. we have the. So oh, the highlight. Okay. Yeah, can we still uh, link? Okay. Um, I didn't put any kind of rubrics for story, yeah. But if let's say your your Instagram is uh quite low in marks, for example, there is some sort of uh less marks, and then I I'm actually looking for extra effort. Then your highlights will help, yeah. Hmm. Okay. So. If if you all do not know, uh, the Instagram insight only capture one week latest, okay? Uh, and then how do I know whether you are doing a good job or not? Uh, even though it only captures one week latest, it will it will reflect for the whole effort of the Instagram. Uh, that, that's how I feel lah. Okay, it will it will reflect. So you can actually, if let's say you want to show me that you are doing something when it comes to story, so we uh, one week before your submission, you can actually do stories. It will reflect in your insight. So you are doing stories, uh, but it's not compulsory. If you if you want to actually add a little bit of bonus marks, if you uh, because there is a marks for a, a extra effort effort. Uh, there is a rubric for effort, so uh, you will get more on that lah. Okay, uh, which good a job, uh, which is a good job, Lujain. I know you are doing a very good job for your group. Uh, I buy two bracelet from them. <laughs> okay, okay. Any other question? I think that's all lah, again. All right. So hopefully you can get uh, as many as much as possible when it comes to the benefit eh, of life skill from my class. I'm not only teaching you how to do assignment. I'm going to teach you uh, to actually share my experience in interview, uh, personal finance as well. Okay, uh, and then how to plan your career. Okay, because some people when they want to open a business, they need to work first to get the capital, which is I do understand. Okay, and I'm also like that. Okay, uh, whatever it is, uh, I will I will try to help uh, my young students here. Okay, uh, so that you will get uh, what you want in in ten years, uh, and then don't don't forget me. Yeah, and <laughs> all right. Can archive stories as well, Dean? Can archive stories? What's the meaning of archive? Oh, okay, archive. You can archive the story. I don't know. Like the function nowadays is very, very fast. And, uh, so if you want to archive the story, you can put inside the business plan what you are doing with the stories. Eh? Uh, you can explain that. Uh, do explain in your business plan what you are doing. Eh? Uh, treat your business plan like you, you are doing a diary. And then you want to actually prove that you are doing something. Okay. All right. So I think that's all. Uh, there's no more. There's no more question yet. Uh, I scroll down already. Okay. So thank you very much. Uh, uh, next week is our WhatsApp group. Eh? WhatsApp group class. I think there's no not much. Lah, okay. Uh, two weeks only. Once in the two weeks, I'm going to do online online meeting. Okay. Thank you. Uh, you left first. I'm going to be the last. One left. Bye. Thank you, madam. Thank you. <laughs> okay. For those who want to uh, ask me, for example, personally, you can also. But I, I record everything. Huh? Okay. Welcome.
Junaid, Din and uh, Din and Hamid, do you have any question? Everything is okay. Your group is okay. If you don't have any question, I'm going to leave. Eh? Okay.